Hi, I'm Christy from birdmentor.com where I teach advanced skills to beginning birders. Thanks so much for joining me on my walk today. So I was out early this morning actually and around here uh, the birds just started singing again. The juncos and the red-winged blackbirds, um, the song sparrows of course, they'll start a little early anyway but it was interesting to me that, uh, yeah, just when, when I know when I start to hear the junco singing that something's really changing. And we've had warm weather for about a week now. Um, so I guess it makes sense to me. It just seems so early. But anyway, I, I did want to talk to you today about sound and about bird song, um, especially this time of year. So this morning when I was listening to the birds, um, I was hearing this red-winged blackbird. And I, I know at this point the, what the Red Wing Blackbird song is, so it didn't um, confuse me in that moment, but I realized that that's what made me think that a lot of people, when they first start to learn bird song, which is a challenging um, skill <laughs> to, to learn anyway, when you first start to learn bird song, if you're learning in the spring, oh my gosh, I have a lot of empathy for you because it's a really tough time to, uh, to learn. Not that it can't be done, and that's why I wanted to talk to you today. Um, so what happens in um, the springtime, I like to think of it as the birds are just kind of warming up. So, uh, you know, as if they were cold, right? And they're just kind of like, you know, if you've ever taken a, a, a voice lesson and the teacher has you start off, or when you were in uh, grade school maybe, you, uh, you started off your singing lesson with like, do re mi fa so, I'm not even gonna do it <laughs> right now. <laughs> so anyway, or mi mi mi, right? Now you don't sing a full song when you're just warming up. And that's what happens this time of year is that a lot of the birds are singing just partial songs. So you can still hear the essence of their song, but really the entire length of their song isn't being sung except maybe once or twice you know once they get kind of warmed up like the chickadee for instance once it gets warmed up it might break out into its but other than that it's just doing a partial call and so the one I wanted to share with you today is the one that I've been hearing this morning the most is that red-winged blackbird and the song sparrow so um, the blackbird I was hearing this morning and the song sparrow I got to hear on the bird walk um, last week. And um, the reason I liked, well, the chickadee I guess I could include in this as well, so why not? Um, so with the red-winged blackbird, let's just start there. So every bird, when you're learning song, every bird um, has a phrase. And different bird books and, and expert birders, they use different phraseology, I guess, um, to express what that bird is saying in our language. Um, I'd like to encourage you to find your own words because sometimes it doesn't always make sense. You know, when you think of, um, uh, oh, I know, a good one is the goldfinch, the American goldfinch. So um, what they say the goldfinch says is potato chip. So as it flies over, its flock call is potato chip. So it's like potato chip, potato chip. <laughs> And sometimes when people hear that sound, they say, it's not saying potato chip, it's saying something else, you know? So that's fine. It doesn't have to say potato chip for you, whatever it says to you. I mean, some people say that the chickadee says cheeseburger. I don't know. I, I can hear cheeseburger in it for sure, but it's not the sweetest uh, word I want to put to that. I'd rather just say chickadee. Um, so it's like chickadee. Okay. Um, all right, so let's stick with the red-winged blackbird. Now, the red-winged blackbird, this one's a fun one for me. I like the, um, I like the words that they use for this one. So um, the phrase is, poke your neighbor, poke your neighbor. It's actually more, sorry, it's not as much of a whistle. I hope you can hear that. If not, look for a recording. I'll try and include one in the links down below um, of a red-winged blackbird. So what I was hearing this morning was just the neighbor part of the poke your neighbor sound. So it was just... Um, I 
right? Now it still had the quality of the blackbird and that's another good thing to talk about is when you're learning sound, try to learn the different bird families and what their sounds sound like. So the, um, the red-winged blackbird is in the icterid family. Those birds have really similar sounds. The orioles are in that family, the blackbirds are in that family, and when you think of um, those birds, the sounds that often come to my mind, sometimes there's like like clicks, there's like metallic or mechanical sounds, sometimes even gurgling. Um, and you know, I, I also, the, the uh, starling is not in this family. I actually think it should be <laughs> because the sound, the beak, everything is so similar. Um, the starling makes a lot of those similar kind of mechanical, they even mimic um, human sounds. So anyway, um, I could hear the quality of the red-winged blackbird when I was listening um, this morning. So that's what tipped me off that this bird was in the icterid family. And then obviously um, after hearing it a little bit longer, I could tell that it was a red-winged blackbird even though it wasn't making its full poke your neighbor call. So before we go, one other bird, I'll just share with you um, the phraseology for its sound. Um, and that's the song sparrow. So. The song sparrow has a really fun one, and that one is, um, it goes, maids, 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 put on your tea, kettle, little, little. <laughs> Try that one right now. So what we were hearing the other day, now the song sparrow does a little bit different version. So sometimes some song sparrows in the early spring, or for us right now, it's actually late winter still, the song sparrows will either sing maids, 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 or they might sing tea, kettle, little, tea, kettle, little. So they don't do the full song, and you might get a glimpse of the full song once in a while, but um, don't let that confuse you. Listen for the, the sound that the family makes. So um, the sparrows, you know, have some similar musical quality, um, or like the blackbirds that we were talking about have more of that mechanical sound. And then, um, and then try to pick out, if you can start to learn the phrase that that bird says, try and see if you can pick out any piece of that see if you hear it. So I hope that's helpful today. Uh, leave your thoughts down below if you have any fun or um, easily rememberable uh, phrases that you um, have used in the past. Please share them below so other people can, uh, can learn from them. And thanks so much for joining me today.